We're here this morning at Button Rock Preserve and behind me is Ralph Price Reservoir. It's a 16,000 acre foot reservoir that's roughly the amount of water that the citizens of Longmont use in any given year. The water supply for Ralph Price comes from Rocky Mountain National Park. It's extremely high quality and the city is very fortunate to own and operate this reservoir. Every day the employees at the city of Longmont take their job seriously to deliver a safe and reliable supply of water to all the citizens and businesses within the city of Longmont. They do that through a process of collecting it here at Ralph Price Reservoir and delivering it to the treatment plants where it's purified and delivered to the taps at all, of all of our customers. After our customers use the water, it goes to the sewer collection system where it's delivered to the wastewater treatment plant, again to be cleaned and purified before it's returned back to the natural environment. Our job is to be good stewards of the water throughout the entire water cycle and to deliver it for future use downstream of the city of Longmont. We're here at the Longmont Wastewater Treatment Plant, tucked in between the St. Vrain River and First and Martin Street in Longmont. This $126 million plant is the city's single largest investment in a facility. It treats 8 million gallons per day of wastewater, which is about 2.5 billion gallons per year. Longmont's wastewater treatment plant has undergone fairly regular upgrades over the past 10 to 15 years, but we're not done yet. We now have new requirements in our permit to meet new state and federal regulations for ammonia discharge to the St. Rain River. Wastewater throughout the city gets piped to the plant where several processes treat that wastewater to clean it so we can discharge it to the St. Rain Creek. The first step in the process is the headworks where large debris is taken out of the wastewater in order to protect downstream equipment. After it goes through the headworks, it goes through primary clarification where we settle out heavier solids by gravity. The wastewater then goes to the aeration basins where we inject air into the process and remove pollutants and toxins from the wastewater with the help of naturally occurring bacteria. We then move to the secondary clarification process where we settle out the remainder of the solids uh, the wastewater then goes through UV disinfection. Uh, throughout the whole process, we sample at different points to ensure that the process is running efficiently and optimally uh, before the uh, wastewater is discharged to the St. Vrain Creek. The facility needs continual upgrades in order to stay in compliance with current regulations and to provide efficient treatment of the wastewater. One such project behind me is replacement of the existing headworks constructed in the mid 70s with a new updated facility. Future projects will be required at the plant to stay in compliance with regulations and to continue efficiently treating the wastewater. Longmont's wastewater operation provides an essential function to this community. It allows our residents and our businesses to go about their business so that our community can thrive both economically and socially. The City of Longmont has a long and proud history of being a leader in the area of water and water stewardship. Mm -hmm.